here? It's here? <sighs> yes. All the energy flowing through the wedge comes together and collects here. Is that thing a Zoogle? Holy crap, it's huge! A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Here it comes. Stay sharp, everyone! Is there no end to what the Renin can cook up? I don't know if that's machine or what, but I do know it's pissing me off! Watch yourself. There is no knowing what she's capable of. Any other wisdom you want to pass along? I'm out of ammo! 
did I. I'm not sure I'd call it a voice, but it was there. What in the world just happened? That was Dana's astral energy we just encountered. And I think what we heard might have been its voice. You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? Exactly. 
There was such a huge overflow of astral energy, it caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Maybe the same thing happened here, just with way more astral energy and a bigger monster. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing, but it's just speculation. Master cores are able to hold a lot more energy than a spirit vessel, but we still haven't seen anything like that happen in our dealings with them. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside master cores and spirit vessels that prevents such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's spirit vessel broke. Then the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. So, then where do you think the Zoogle went? All that energy and poof, it's gone. The Zoogle with it. Doesn't that sound weird to anyone? Indeed it does. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, we will need to gather more evidence first. On that note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Rinwell? I can't help but wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. S sorry that's a strange thing to think, isn't it? Anyway, we should get going, right? We need to make sure the energy flow has actually stopped. Are we gonna have to take this winding path all the way back down, too? Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. Really? Well then, actually, I've heard it's easier to develop muscle aches when going down. Seriously? Ah, guess I misread the landing. Don't get careless! Don't tell me! Okay, here I go! And just like that, I'm back in it. Start by holding the front line. No sooner said than done. Try harder! Not a chance! Luna Rondo! You're on! What an astral energy! Too bad! They're interrupted! How do you like being pounded into shape? This is bad, right? Yes, Austin. Very bad. I don't feel so good. Okay, here I go! Where's that Take this! Now! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclone! Nice technique! You're off! Hang right here! I got Take this! No way out! Me. Let them here. Okay, here I go. Here. Coming through. Ha! Now. Scarlet Inferno. Double demon fang. I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life. Terminating right here. Hurricane flight. First aid. This one's mine. Vacuum blade! 
You sure you still want to press forward? If something happened to you, we should think about eating soon. Really? Not all that hungry myself. Don't make me say it again. Uh, yeah, good idea. Everything all right? It kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Or not, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know... Yeah? Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> you want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, jeez. Sorry for taking an interest. Stop it! It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry. I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <sighs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, It'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. 
its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenegas? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's got to be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenegas. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenegas would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenegas, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy, but I do know that I woke up in Calaglia, so chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground, so I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> this is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's... Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> You okay? You don't look so good. Uh, I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No, not just him. Something you can't talk about? Renwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, 
That is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Rinwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> my battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Still, if that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. <laughs> 